remember that night we set out on the front porch. I think it was like a week before I left, maybe a few days. That was the night it hit me that things wouldn't be the same. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I want to break down another score um, from our short film. People seem to enjoy the last one I put out, so I wanted to go ahead and just do a shorter one. Um, this is a shorter song, a shorter clip, and hopefully I won't ramble as much. So let's just jump right into it. Here's the scene really quick so you can kind of get a feel for what I'm talking about as I go through it. I remember that night we set out on the front porch. I think it was like a week before I left, maybe a few days. That was the night it hit me that things wouldn't be the same. But when you sat next to me, we just sat there and listened to the crickets. I don't know. I still think about how peaceful it was to just sit there. Do you ever think about a moment in your life that you just want to pause? Yeah. I guess that's just life, you know? I guess. Okay, so with this scene, I wanted to keep the main melody in mind and somehow alter it because they are older and things have changed for Bryn and Jane. And I wanted to show that by doing a different rendition of the score. Um, so the piano is actually doing the main melody here. Just the D to F. Let me get this pulled up right here. And like the first song, Nine Years Ago, the melody is just a simple... So that's the melody. It's a sort of a call and receive. It's a question and answer. It's a back and forth, if you will. I wrote that to just go along with Jane and how she is going back and forth in her mind of where she's at and where she was as a kid. So the, the piano is doing that um, when it all comes in. So I have the strings kind of creeping in. Um, they're playing an inverted G minor, going back to the beginning of the film. The film opens with a G minor chord. So I wanted to bring that back in, kind of have that theme of, uh, as they're older, sort of a minor, more serious tone. Um, so the strings lead off with that, and the harp creeps in, um, playing a new version of the melody. It still has a D and the F, kind of that call and receive. So I'll go ahead and play that real quick. So yeah, it's just doing what the piano was doing. The it's just going back and forth between that D and F, the theme of the short film. And then the strings come in. I have the airy strings here, um, same as in the last video, just a combination of first and second strings, and the low airy strings are cello and viola. Uh, no bass in this, I wanted it to be pretty light. Um, so when that opening string section, that G minor, dies down, the uh, heart picks up and the piano starts playing the melody.
So yeah, so the harp is, I had it just running up and down a chord here um, and just doing different variations of that. And I ended up getting rid of this little bit towards the end here. Um, I just liked it kind of letting off more, um, sort of not finishing its thought quite as much. So it just goes up and stops like this. Ending on that F, and next time around back to the F again. And then there it's ending on the D instead of the F. Not quite all the way up. And then this last little bit, I wanted it to really feel like it's forgetting something. So the piano stops, it doesn't play, it doesn't resolve, it stays up on that F, and the harp doesn't even get to the F either. They both stop at the D, and the strings kind of die out as we go into the next scene. And then, of course, the strings come in and give us a little bit of a transition here as it takes us into the next scene, like I said. So yeah, that's the tune. And uh, just to kind of break down what I'm using here, um, I'm using East-West uh, sample libraries. I have a harp, and I, I tend to layer mine with uh, different sounds that I like, um, mixing the different mic positions to whatever kind of sound I like, I go through and I, I'll write up a melody and then I'll go through and play it on all the different samples I have available to me and uh, I'll mix and match them just to give it a little bit more body and stuff like that. So, But that's the song and here's the scene to go with it. Too. We had so much fun in the park and flying that kite. It's in my car actually. Really? Yeah, I don't fly it anymore, I just wanted to keep it. I remember that night, we set out on the front porch. I think it was like a week before I left, maybe a few days. That was the night it hit me that things wouldn't be the same. But when you sat next to me, we just sat there and listened to the crickets. I don't know. I still think about how peaceful it was to just sit there. Do you ever think about a moment in your life that you just want to pause? Yeah. I guess that's just life, you know? I guess. Don't worry, I won't make you eat any peas. You all set? Mm -hmm. Hey, park at the top of the parking garage sometime. I used to do it when I was there. You get a nice view of the sunset from the top. Okay, I'll do that. Come visit sometime? Yeah, I'd love to. Well, drive safe. Love you, Jane. I realized how simple I thought life was when I was a kid, and I know it will never be that way again.